Hello dear children, in this video I am going to explain how to solve assertion reason type questions which have been introduced in 9th and 10th science since last year. There are some tricks and tips to solve these questions. Let's do it. In assertion reason questions, you are given two statements. One is assertion and the other one is reason. The first tip is that you have to find out whether both these statements are true or false. If the assertion and the reason both are true, A and B, one of the option will be your answer. If the reason is the exact explanation of assertion, then option A is the correct answer. If the reason is not the exact explanation of the assertion, then Option B is the correct answer. If the assertion is true and reason is false, C is the correct option. If assertion is false and reason is true, option D is the correct answer. If assertion and reason both statements are false, then E is the correct option. Let's do some examples. First question, assertion, a cell swells up when present in a hypotonic solution. Reason, water molecules enter the cell from the solution. First step is to find both the statements true or false. A cell swells up when present in a hypotonic solution. This statement is true because the medium surrounding the cell, that is hypotonic solution, has a higher water concentration than the cell, meaning that the outside solution is very dilute. Cell will gain water by endosmosis and swells up. Water concentration is more in hypotonic solution. So, first statement is true. In the second statement, water molecules enter the cell from the solution. That statement also true. Now both statements are true. Next step to find out that the reason is correct explanation of assertion or not. If you add because after assertion then you will get correct option. In this case both statements are true. It means answer will be option A or option B. A cell swells up when present in a hypotonic solution because water molecules enters the cell from the solution. Here both statements are true and the reason is the correct explanation of assertion. So option A is the correct answer. Next question assertion. Cell theory was put forward by Schleiden and Schwann. Reason it is applicable to all cells including viruses. To solve this question, we must know about cell theory and its application over viruses. Cell theory was given by Schleiden and Schwann. So, assertion is true. According to cell theory, cells are structural and functional unit of all living organisms. All cells arise from pre-existing cells. The cell is composed of cell membrane a definite nucleus and a cytoplasm with cell organelles. In second statement, it is applicable to all cells including viruses. That is, cell theory is applicable to all cells including viruses. A virus is a non-living thing as they do not have a definite cellular structure. They are crystal particles. The cell theory is applicable to all living cells only. Viruses are non-living crystal particles. They lack definite cell structure. So correct answer is option C. Assertion is true. Reason is false. Next question. Assertion. The number of cells in a multicellular organism is inversely proportional to the size of the body. Reason. All the cells in the biological world are of same size. In assertion, the number of cells in a multicellular organism 
are directly proportional to the size of the body. So, this statement is wrong. It is a fact that cells vary greatly in their size. Mycoplasma cells are the smallest cell. Nerve cells are the longest. And egg cell of ostrich are the largest cell. So, in the biological world, the size of the cells are related to the specific function they perform. So, correct answer is option D. Both assertion and reason are false. Next question, assertion. Organisms are made up of cells. Reason, cells are structural unit of living organisms. Here, both statements are true. Cells are the basic structural and functional unit of living organisms. So, correct answer is option A. Both assertion and reason are true. And reason is the correct explanation of assertion. Next question, assertion. Eukaryotic cells have membrane-bound organelles. Reason, prokaryotic cells lack membrane-bound organelles. Eukaryotic cells have membrane-bound distinct structures called organelles like nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, lysosomes, mitochondria, vacuoles, etc. These are found in all plants, animals and fungi. Whereas, prokaryotic cells, they lack such membrane-bound organelles. Prokaryotic cells occur in bacteria, blue-green algae, mycoplasma, etc. The nuclear region in these organisms contain only nucleic acids. Such an undefined nuclear region is called nucleoid. In this question, both assertion and reason are true. But reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. So, option B is the correct answer. Next question, assertion. Ribosomes are non-membrane bound organelles found in the prokaryotic cells only. Reason, these are present only in the cytoplasm. Its answer, ribosomes are non-membrane bound organelles found in eukaryotic as well as prokaryotic cells. So, assertion is false. Within the cell, ribosomes are found only in the cytoplasm but also within the two organelles that is chloroplast in plants and mitochondria also. Ribosomes are attached on rough endoplasmic reticulum also. So, statement of reason is false. Correct answer of this question is option D. Both assertion and reason are false. Next question assertion. In both plant and animal cells, the main area of cellular activities is cytoplasm. Reason. Various chemical reactions occur in cytoplasm to keep the cell in living state. In this question, the cytoplasm is the main area of cellular activities in both the plant and animal cells. Because it contains many cell organelles that take part in the different activities and transports their products from one organelle to other by cytoplasm. But in the statement of reason, various chemical reactions occur in cytoplasm to keep the cell in living state. This statement also true. For example, first step of respiration that is glycolysis takes place in cytoplasm. But this reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. Correct answer of this question is option B. That is, assertion and reason are correct, but reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion. Next question, assertion. Plant cells contain two types of plastids, chromoplast and leucoplast. Reason, animal cell contains only one type of plastid, that is leucoplast. Assertion is true. Plant cells contain two plastids, chromoplast, which is a colored plastid, and leucoplast, which is a colorless plastid. Here, the statement of reason is false because plastids are absent in animal cell. So, correct answer of this question is option C. Assertion is true, but the reason is false. Next question, assertion. 
the cell membrane is a dead part of the cell reason cell membrane regulates the movement of materials between the interior of the cell and the outer environment cell membrane is a living part of the cell so the statement of assertion is false the statement of reason is true because the plasma membrane or cell membrane allows or permits the entry and the exit of some materials in and out of the cell it also prevents movement of some other materials so cell membrane is also called a selectively permeable membrane statement of reason is true the correct answer of this question is option d assertion is false but reason is true next question assertion rbc is kept in hypotonic solution will swell reason movement of water occurs from outside to inside the cell in assertion rbcs will swell if they are placed in a hypotonic solution the cells will gain water by osmosis so assertion is true the cells might burst and rupture if they are placed in hypotonic solution for a long time because in hypotonic solution movement of water occurs from outside to inside the cell here reason is the correct explanation of assertion so correct answer of this question is option a both assertion and reason are true and the reason is the correct explanation of assertion the outer membrane of mitochondria is folded into cristae reason cristae increases the surface area its explanation mitochondria have two membrane covering the outer membrane is very porous while inner membrane is deeply folded inwards forming cristae so statement of assertion is wrong the inner membrane of mitochondria is folded into cristae then cristae increases the surface area this statement is true the folding of cristae creates a large surface area for atp generating chemical reactions so assertion is false reason is true correct answer of this question is option d assertion is false but reason is true next question assertion the endoplasmic reticulum which lacks ribosomes is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum reason smooth endoplasmic reticulum is mainly involved in protein synthesis here assertion is true the endoplasmic reticulum which lacks ribosomes is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum is mainly involved in protein synthesis this statement is false smooth endoplasmic reticulum is mainly involved in synthesizing lipids smooth endoplasmic reticulum lack ribosomes main function of ribosome is protein synthesis so correct answer of this question is option c assertion is true but reason is false next question assertion plasma membrane is selectively permeable reason plasma membrane allows all molecules to pass through it plasma membrane is selectively permeable this statement is true plasma membrane allows all molecules to pass through it this statement is false because plasma membrane allows some materials not all materials to pass through it so correct answer for this question is option c assertion is true but reason is false next question assertion leucoplast perform photosynthesis reason chloroplast contains the pigment chlorophyll here assertion is false because leucoplast are colorless plastid plastids containing the pigment chlorophyll are known as chloroplast chloroplast are important for photosynthesis in plants so statement of reason is true chloroplast contains the pigment chlorophyll so correct answer of this question is option d 
assertion is false reason is true